It was a robbery in progress, along with an eyebrow-raising disguise and a handgun. Demanded money from the cashier, but then I guess on a change of heart, a change of mindset, I'm not going to do it. The brazen bandit backed out. What could have easily been a couple hundred dollar money grab foiled by the robber himself. That was unbelievable um, uh, what happened because he actually had the money in his hand and he refused to take it. He said that was not enough to pay for his daughter's kidney uh, transplant. Chemo owns the shop at Varee and Red Lion Roads. And you heard right, the robber apparently changed his mind, telling him the crime wouldn't help his daughter's kidney transplant much. What do you think should happen to him? Um, hard to say. Um, uh, I think for, for willing to use the, 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 the gun or, or taking the gun out of his pocket, I think he should be uh, punished for that. But in the same time, um, us as a society, I think we should uh, do something to help people like that and, and uh, not push them to the edge that where they have to use their gun. The man, we're told, put his gun away and became friendly before leaving the store. Police say he still faces an armed robbery charge, but they're also interested in learning more about the daughter he brought up. And if you're going to commit a robbery, I guess the best type of robbery to commit is one where you don't complete it and you change your mind.